But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good education together. As you notice, we are not having uh, too many viewers these days because people are confused where to find me. And obviously people don't uh, use their brain. We have always a link in the screen. It says Patreon slash Christian Prince. Uh, so why people do not know where to find me? I don't know. In every single video. YouTube channel is just a place where we, uh, you know, do broadcast. It doesn't matter what channel it is. I might now, this channel go, and create a new channel, take me five minutes, and I will go live again. So why people, they are confused, and why people, they don't look at the screen, look at the screen. Don't you see there is a link there? Oh, what you need to do, you go there. You do not need to donate. I know many of you are cheap. And you are here just to for entertainment purpose. But this is not what I'm asking you for to go. If you want to follow with us, you just go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. It is in the screen. You see it? It is in the screen. And yet they say to me, where we can find CP? What happened to your other channel CP? Channel is not important. The important is what we say. And before we start too, I want to ask the admins not to post any link to anyone without my permission. Let me repeat again. Don't post any link to any other channel or anything without my permission. The only thing you can do, you can post a link for the books, my free books, or uh, 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 Shake Omad. Anything else, I will remove your privilege as an admin. As simple as that. Now we go to our topic. You know, the Muslims, they always they try their best to prove us wrong. So a Christian person, he asked a Muslim about a contradiction in the Quran. And for sure the Muslims, they have an answer as usual. I mean, come on, that's very easy. As easy as uh, making a cake. So here in the front of us, I'm not going to play the video. You can watch it yourself. A person, he asked this uh, Abdul, saying to him, well, how come in the Quran it says that uh, the Christian will go in heaven to heaven. And other verses say the Christians will go to hell. So this is smart Abdul, he said. And I will go to the verse. You can, if you want to do editing later for the video, you can insert his video. But I'm not going to play it because, as you know, they flag my videos. They are terrified. If we go in the Quran, we will see the following. 
chapter 2, verse number 62. And the question was, how come this verse says the Christian, the Jews, the Sabi, and they will go to hell? And different verses saying, they will go, sorry, to heaven. And different verses saying, they will go to hell. My friend, the one who is saying you two playing games. Okay, they play games, but uh, don't we have a link for Patreon in every video we do? Isn't this what we do? Every link, every video we make, it says Patreon. So you two play link, you play games. You can go to Patreon, take you two seconds. You don't even need to sign. And you will see the last video I posted. You click on it and you will find me. Very simple. Anyway. Verily those who believe and those who are the Jews and the Christians and the Sabi and, and whoever believe in Allah. The Muslim, he says to him, hold on, you see? And whoever believe in Allah. So the condition here for the Jews and the Christians and the Sabi and to go to heaven is the one to believe in Allah. But just to show you how silly and how stupid this answer is, according to the Quran, the Christians and the Jews, they believe in Allah. Actually, the Christian, they think that Allah is Jesus himself, according to Muhammad. <laughs> so the first, uh, the first answer or the first reasoning is a very silly uh, uh, argument. For your Quran, say clearly that the Messiah, according to the Christians, he is Allah. So when you say only those who believe in Allah, they will go to heaven, uh, hold on, the pagans, like Muhammad, and before Islam, they believe in Allah. According to the Quran, the Christian, they believe in the, even the Messiah, he is Allah. So your refutation is very silly and very naive, and it doesn't work. Now we go to continue. This is the first one, he said. And remember here, second point, you have to believe in the last day. What the heck? Well, don't the Christian believe in the last day, in the judgment day? That is another silly, stupid argument. All the Christians believe in this last day and the judgment day, and Jesus is coming back, and he will do the judgment day. He said, take a note. This is the second point. And then, and do righteous and good deeds. Well, doing righteous and good deeds have nothing to do with belief anyway. You might be an atheist, and you do make a donation for somebody who is poor. That is a good deed. So they did not know how to answer the stupidity of Muhammad and how Muhammad, he contradict himself and he says silly stuff. And not forget here that the Sabian, they don't believe in Allah at all. The Sabian are people who worship stars. And they are not considered people of the book. So how the Sabian are included? Can a Muhammadan name for me one Sabi and prophet? He is accepted as a Muslim prophet. Anyone? <laughs> In the same time here, when the Muhammadan they try to make that this is an exception, it says here the Jews. Not a Jew, not a few Jews. Those who are Jews. All the Jews. But isn't it the Jews believe that Uzair is a son of Allah? When uh, David Wood was uh, playing with, uh, I call it like a game, you know, with Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he says, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe that God have a son or a trinity, you know, not a single Jew. The Quran says, chapter 9, verse number 30, the Jews, you see, the Jews, not some of the Jews. The same statement mentioned in the other verse in the Quran, the Jews, those who they are, the Jews, who are Jews, 
actually in Arabic, uh, uh, you know, uh, it says "Aladina Hadu," all of them, and those who they are Nasara, all of them, and those who they are Sabian. You see, even Arabic is "An Nasara," not some of the Nasara, "An Nasara." And by the way, Nasara isn't really Christian, but Muhammad is, as usual, you know. What is Nasara? We are not Nasara. Actually, we never heard of this name before. We as an Arab Christian, we never heard that we are called Nasara ever before. You will not find one Christian accept such a name for himself. But Muhammad, obviously, Islam is a, is a very weird cult, mixing things up. Uh, and I think well, the reason the word Nasara came from, uh, there is there is the Nazarite, the followers of Jesus, and there is the Nazarite, who they are, which mean mean poor, the word poor. So there is a group of the Christians, who the Christian rejected them. Let us say they become a cult or heretic. They call them the poor, but not poor by money, but poor by understanding. And they were rejected. And those they were Jewish Christians. So those they are called the poor because we have wrong understanding of the Bible, and they were isolated, and they disappear. But according to Muhammad, he knew only those people, Nasara, or Nazarite. But as you see here, the Quran say clearly that the one who go to heaven is those who called Nasara. Let us type the same word Nasara in different place. I will copy it as it is, so people will not say, well, this is not the same word. I will copy it as it is. And I will go to the Quran and let us see what the Quran says about Nasara. Is it a different word, maybe? And as you see here in chapter 9, verse number 30, it says that the, the Jews, Hadu, the Hud, they believe in Uzair uh, uh, is the son of Allah. And you will not find a single Jew, a single verse in any book of the Jews saying that. This is another stupid thing Muhammad he said. I will, here we go, I posted the word Nasara, I will click, paste, as it is. The first verse we will see, chapter 2, verse number 62, the one it says, the Christians, the Jews, the Sabian, they will go to heaven. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 111, the same chapter says, that the Christian, they say, nobody will enter heaven except the one who is a Jew or he is a Christian. And this is telling us how stupid that is. That is. Look. And they say, and 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 they and they say, none shall enter paradise unless he is a Jew or a Christian. But you just told them in the same chapter, those who they are Jews and Christian, they will enter heaven. Oh, here there's an exception. It says nobody except them will enter heaven. And then Allah is saying to them, bring me your proof if you are truthful. Bring me your proof if you are truthful. I want to go with this as a way to deal with Islam. Who is a Muslim can bring me the proof that he is truthful about his religion. How we can prove that Muhammad is telling the truth. As you see, all of this is a, is a, is a contradiction. Everything Muhammad, he said, the Christianity is not a Christianity in the Quran. The Quran have a different wrong trinity, which does not exist, never exist. The Quran teach that the Christian, they think that the Messiah is Allah. No Christian believe that the, the, Messiah, the Christ is the Father. We don't. Simply we don't. We believe that the Christ is the Son of God. He is not the Father. And the Father is not the Son. <laughs> You will notice right away that Islam is in a chaos and Islam is a very silly cult. And when you read the Quran, right away you will come to the conclusion that this is a book written about Allah, not written by Allah. How we know? Read. Many of the people of the scriptures, Jews and the Christians, is a bashing book for the Christian and the Jews of hate wish that you could turn away as disbelief after you believe out of envy so the christian they want to save you no they want to save you they want to they are they have envy 
This is not a logical. Even Satan, this is even, even Satan is smarter than this. So the Christian, they are they have envy from you and they are want to dis mislead you. Well, they can join you. You see, envy is a word I say. Let us say I'm poor and my neighbor is rich. You have a nice car, I have an old car. That is envy, you know, like I wish I have what he have. But I cannot have what he have. So that can be envy because it's a wish of kind of evil, maybe. But in Islam, all what I need to do is say Shahada. And that's it. I will get what you get. I will get the virgins. I will get the gold. I will get the silvers. I will get the endless penis. What envy? If we have envy, if this is the scenario, then people will be joining Islam like crazy. You do not need to go and kill them. We have a chapter, it's called the chapter of Al-Fatah, which means the victory. When the victory happened, only at that time, people did join Islam by waves. By what? By waves. Not, so, so after you conquer them by the sword, they, you force them to join. So how do they have envy? The one who have envy, he will die to have what you have. So obviously the, the book is written by a, a low IQ person, and then he said, uh, after what revealed to them of the truth, uh, what is the truth, what you revealed to them, you did not give us a miracle. You did not perform anything. And the only thing you claim that the Quran is something nobody can make like it. And then we find that even Shaitan he make like it, and Jinni make like it, and even Mary make, make Quran. Moses make Quran, even the ant make Quran. The end. Have you ever heard of religion claiming that nobody can make Quran like it, and then we find that the ant is making Quran? If we go right now, chapter seventeen, verse number eighteen, chapter eight is uh, twenty-seven and eighteen. Actually, they are the best for for uh, 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 for cartoon. You will see here, this is the Quran supposedly made by Allah. Let us check. Then when he came to the valley of the ant, and now who is talking? Allah. Then one of the ants said, O ants, enter the do your dwelling, lest Suleiman and his host crush you, while they perceive not. Okay. Who is talking? The ant. But you just said to us, nobody can make Quran. Is that Quran? Or not? If the ant can make Quran, and by the way, how in the world this is stupid verses even exist? The ant is talking and she made a speech, and they communicate. Yes, they, they, we can say they talk like any creatures. They have communication system by vibration or by chemical. But did she don't make a speech? One of the ants, she said, the Arabic is so clear. Qalat namla, ya naml. And then Suleiman, he heard her speech. He smiled. And then Suleiman, he said, Look, Suleiman making Quran. So, what is the Quran then, which nobody can make? Uh, somebody tell me a story, and then he'd quote what people say. You see, if I am using too many quotation to the point the quotation is even more than my words, this is a book of quotation. This is not a, my book. So then Suleiman smiled amused at her speech and he said, so what Allah now he did, he just added those words. That's it. And then the rest is Suleiman speaking. And then the rest Suleiman is speaking again. And here he is just saying, he inspected the birds and he said, okay, Suleiman is speaking again. What the matter I see, not the hoopoe, which is very stupid. I mean, Suleiman is a king and now he is missing a bird from his army. Yes, because according to the Quran, Allah, he gave uh, uh, Suleiman an army consists of genie, human, and birds. And actually here you notice that Allah, he taught the language of the birds to Suleiman, but Suleiman is speaking the language of the ants. 
And this is a story taken from the Legion of the Jews. You can go and search it, it's for free. And the Legion of the Jews is something not something written by us. This is exists thousands of years, even long before Islam. So Muhammad, he heard the stories from the Jews about Suleiman, how amazing he is. He have a flying carpet, he have a flying horse, he have a ring controlling the, you know, he put it in the Quran, he made it a true story, and he claimed that the one is saying that is Allah. How that can be from God. And then when he checked the birds and he found this bird is missing, he says, oh, well, if he did not give me excuse, I'm going to uh, slaughter him uh, unless he give me clear reason. That there's a, the king is a questioning the absence of a, of a bird. And then the bird come back. And he gave him the excuse why he was away. And now, as you see, the Quran saying, who can make Quran like this? But all of this is, is the bird talking, the ant talking, Suleiman is talking. All what Allah said, but the hoopu stayed not long. He came up and he said, until now this is Allah talking. The rest is the, the bird. Even the chicken make Quran. Not only satanic verses and Satan. And then they say to us, who can make Quran like the Quran of Allah? And then what this guy, he found this bird. He says, I found a ruling woman, a ruling, a ruling woman. And he described this woman. And I found that those people, they, all of this is not even Allah talking. And then Allah, If you read this verse here, what this verse is about? Read carefully this verse. Where it says, uh, even you guys, Allah, this word has two interpretation. <laughs> Why? Because Muhammad Arabic is really horrible. So he said, Allah, yes, Judo. What the heck is Allah me, man? Allah, yes, Judo. <laughs> Allah or Allah or what the heck is that? <laughs> So the Muslims, they say there is two interpretations, brother, for the verse. Okay. Ah, a shaitan has, uh, what shaitan? Has buried them from Allah away? All of this is Allah? That's deep. Okay. And what is the other uh, interpretation? So they don't have to worship and prostrate before Allah. B so that they may worship prostrate before Allah. Well, this is totally two opposite the meaning. Do you see how clear the Arabic is of Muhammad? And they said to you, who can make Quran like this? And, okay, and now all, uh, uh, all of this, the bird is talking. And then the bird, he says, Allah, la ilaha illa huwa. Like, what the heck? So imagine, close your eyes, imagine Suleiman, he is a king. He have a huge army. And now a little bird in the front of the king and all his, you know, majestic army and leaders and blah, blah, blah. Servants, whatever. And the bird, and, bark, 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 la ilaha illa Allah, Muhammad and Rasulullah. What the heck? So the bird, he says, Allah, la ilaha illa huwa. So the man said, okay, we shall see whether you speak the truth or you are a liar. You don't want to be a bird and you are a liar. I mean, you will end in my barbecue. <laughs> And 
they say to you, nobody can make Quran like, like the Quran. I mean, who can make Quran like this? Mickey Mouse is better. <laughs> so now Suleiman, he want to check that if this bird is a liar. And by the way, you know, uh, there, is a, there is a funny story here about the hoodhood. Uh, the hoodhood, which is the name of the bird, Muhammad he claimed that the hoodhood he can see, he have like a, he's like a satellite. He can see what nobody can see. Now we know that all birds from the top, I mean, they can see really what we as a human we cannot see, especially like in the water. But Muhammad he claimed that. Uh, those birds can see under the ground. So then an, a Bedouin man, he said to Ibn Abbas, he said to him, so how come a little boy, he put some seeds in the top of a trap covered by dirt, and we catch the bird, if he can see under the ground, how come he could not see the trap? <laughs> How in the world he could not see the trap, huh? Ibn Abbas, he said to him, May Allah curse you. Aren't you afraid? You see, you see how the, you see how refute the guy? He could not refute him. The answer is, may Allah curse you. This bird, he can see anything, brother. Except the trap. He can see like down in the find water for you. So according to Muhammad, this bird, he was a minister of irrigation. He find water for Suleiman. And looked like he was doing part-time to find women. And if you read more in the stories, you will see that this woman, she have no hair in her legs, which is nice. I don't want to have a woman have hair in her legs. Yuck. Come on. And then when Suleiman, he went there, he... Uh, she like she was stepping over her uh, tiles, which is like covered by water. Fancy, I mean something fancy. And then Suleiman, he saw how hairy she is. But brother, Balkis was not hairy. It was the devil who made her look hairy. So Suleiman and Balkis were not carrying love together and marry each other. True story. And here you will see. Uh, Let's see. Because you know them, I mean, they will say Christian Prince is lying, as usual, you know, whatever you say to them. Christian Prince is lying, he is quoting fake hadith. Well, we are quoting fake hadith, we are fake, quoting fake Quran, we are quoting, my friend, what you can do? We are quoting, yeah. Uh, let me see, hold on, give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let me see if I can find those reference in the English uh, translation. Okay. I don't know why we don't find it here in the English. We should find it here, by the way. They are taking it off. You see, they take it off here. Hmm. Let us see, maybe in Ibn Kathir, chapter 27, verse number 20. All Muslim translation, they try to cover up for things obviously is stupid. So when they claim they have a translation, in fact, they don't, you know? Because a translation should be honest and you don't delete pages from a book you are translating just because those pages don't sweet with your uh, propaganda. So here, if we go on, let us see. Uh, yeah, here we go, we found it. This is Ibn Kathir, that's even better. 
This is Ibn Kathir, it says here, a guy whose name is uh, uh, Abu Nafi' or Nafi' uh, bin al-Azraq, who often used to raise objection to Ibn Abbas. <laughs> a smart, this is a smart Arab. <laughs> he said to him, stop Ibn Abbas, stop. Why stop? Because he said, he claimed, that this, this bird, he can see Suleiman would command the jinn to dig in the, uh, uh, the place where the bird he point at, where the water is. So he can see in the deep earth, you know, as you see here. So this, this bird, he was in charge of irrigation and watering. So uh, Suleiman, he sent him to find out where is the water is. The hood hood, the hood hood would look for water for him in various state of the earth, which means levels, just as a man look at thing on the surface of the earth. And he would know just for how far below the surface the water was. <laughs> this guy, this, this bread, he have like a, you know, a sensor, you know, like, you know, these days they use a sensor to study the, 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 the ground. So when the hope hope showed him the water was where the water was, so the man could command the genie. Here we go, the genie. I mean, you see, at these days you you call the plumbing guy. So the man have genie. The genies do the plumbing. To dig in that place, and they brought the water. And then after he's saying this, uh, this guy, his name is uh, 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 Nafi. He said to Ibn Abbas, "Stop." Stop! And now you're asking yourself, maybe this is where Christian Prince, he always he used the word stop from. <laughs> stop! <laughs> so he said to Ibn Abbas, Stop, Ibn Abbas. You will be defeated between two brackets and argument. Today. The guy, he got excited. I got you busted. Ibn Abbas said, why? Nafi said, you are telling me that the hoopoe can see water beneath the ground, but any boy can put seed on a trap and cover it, they cover the trap with dirt, and the hoop hoop come and take the seed. So the boy can catch him in a trap. Now how Ibn Abbas, the Muslim guy, he can refute him. He flagged his video to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he went to YouTube, he gave it a flag, and they took the video, but it, but, but still it exists in the big theater. <laughs> so what he did, he started cursing the guy. Instead of refuting him, Ibn Abbas, he said, if it's not for the fact that this man would go and tell other that he defeated Ibn Abbas in argument, I would not even answer. So how he answer? He started cursing the guy. He said to him, oh, we, you, when the decree strike a person in his eyes and became a blind, like, what the heck? This is the reputation now? Remember, he just said, if not, I'm afraid that people will say Ibn Abbas was defeated in the argument. So now he's answering. How he answer? May Allah curse you. May Allah kill you. May Allah make you shish kebab. And this is how Ibn Abbas refuted the stupidity of a Prophet Muhammad. Somebody can contact your minister of, if you have a drought in your area or etc. Like, can you sign a contract with the hoop hoop? You know, in case you do not know who is the hoop hoop or the hood hood, the hoop hoop, -hoop whatever you call it. Let me show you how the hood hood look like. And this is why Muhammad, he think he, this guy is a leader, he's a minister. Why? Uh, because he look uh, like he, ha he looked like a Roman soldier, you know, like a, he have this uh, thing in his, uh, in his head, you know. So Muhammad, he come to the, this is why Muslim, by the way, are not allowed to touch this bird. No Muslim allowed. That is a big, big sin. You cannot kill. This, this bird is really lucky. You see, whatever Muhammad he forbid to be killed is lucky.
So this bird, he have a safe haven in Muslim land. But if you are a crow, you are black, they will kill you. You are unlucky. If you are a black dog, they will kill you. If you are a black cat, they will kill you. Anything is pure black, they will kill. So this bird is forbidden to be killed. Spider is forbidden to be killed. Lizard have to be killed. I mean, madness. But as you see here, when the Muslim, they speak about uh, that the Quran does not have contradiction. Well, the Quran not only is a book of contradiction, Quran is a book of fairy tale stories and stupidity. And this is more enough than, more important than, you know, a contradiction. Because I can make a book have zero contradiction, but a big deal. I mean, I will read it twice, three times to be sure there's no contradiction. Because many of the books have zero contradiction. What this have to do with being a book from God or not? Uh, but the whole Quran is a book of contradiction. Which one Allah created first? You ask the Muslim this the question, he will go in chaos. Is it the stars or the mountains? Is it the trees or the stars? Is it the water or the stars? The second you ask this question, he will go in chaos. So all the Quran is a book of, uh, of uh, contradiction. But the most important is the Quran is a book of stupidity. And that is way more important. I cannot really stay long with you because I'm looking for my bird. I sent him to send me to find me some women who have no hair in their legs. I have difficulty, man, in this country to find the women. All women here, they have a lot of hair. Unbelievable. I mean, disgusting. You see, I'm going to fly somewhere. There's a beach. And then in the beach, I will walk. And the first woman I get her, she have no hair and legs. Bingo. I will ask her to marry me. And if she don't uh, agree to marry me, I will say to you, to her, we, you, decree, strike the person and the eyes, become blind and lose all cushion. Like, what the heck? She will be scared. And she said, please, please, stop, stop, stop. I will marry you. And this is how I win the argument with her in case she said to me, look at you. Look at you. I mean, come on. Uh. <laughs> so anyway, and by the way, I just made a video or made a post uh, like uh, for coming broadcast live in the other channel, Christian Prince. So those people who they are confused where to find me, maybe they will be able to find me. What we can do, I mean, what we can say, maybe they can find me. So please tell your friends, it doesn't matter really where we go, what channel. Always we have a we have a link in the top. It says Patreon, and for now we have this uh, TikTok, which is very funny. I don't think this TikTok will live for long, because uh, uh, this TikTok looks like they are more stupid than uh, YouTube. Uh, uh, each time I post a video, the TikTok uh, I think they have many Muslim employees too there, and they are deleting my videos. But it doesn't matter really. We will make more videos because people download them, and repost them, and they will be all over. And that's why we are making them three minutes. And you will see a copy for my TikTok video in, in the channel here. You can download it and you can post it in your TikTok. Don't forget to do that. And don't forget about Muslim flagging you because mostly they, fo they focus in someone like me, not someone like you, you know. Even though you are posting my video, but you are not the important. The important is a Christian prince. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you, all of you, you will find your bird who can find women without uh, hair. And I don't know what the women they will send that bird to do, because as you see, this bird he have a specialty to find women. So I don't think this bird can help women in this case. Um, maybe we can find a female hood hood, you know? Maybe that would be help for females to find them husband or etc. Uh, do we have any Muslim have any question before we go? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Are you aware that other channels are using your content and giving life in the same time? 
Well, I can I can flag them and take my the, the whole channel down. Those are my videos. But you see, uh, it's okay. What we can do, no problem. Uh, uh, but if you are a smart person, why you want to watch Christian Prince in different channel when the Christian Prince is here? That doesn't make even sense, right? Eh. So if you are naive, naive, what we can do? The important is that people, they will watch and the people will see, and this is what's important for me. But ask yourself why you want to go to a different room when you can be in this room. And you can ask me that question directly. While somebody is broadcasting my video, while I'm here, and you can talk to me, and you know that it's very easy to ask me questions and very easy uh, to receive the answer. But, well, let people do as they wish, what we can say. Uh, <clears throat> just go away, CP? Why Bahar, why? Bahar, Bahar is suffering because of me, I'm here. Just go away, CP. Okay, I'm not going away, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> away, you, you will strike a person, his eyes become blind and lose all cushion. Na Nafe, he said to him, My Allah, I never dispute with you again. <laughs> Do you see how fast the reputation is? <laughs> we, by Allah, Allah will strike you and make you blind and lose. What the heck? Nafe, he gave up. That's it. I'm talking to Abdul Abbas. Forget. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you no more. You got me the answer. <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, well, I'm making short videos, but I hope that people will share those videos too. And as you see, you know, we have to admit that Christians, they don't really support. Christians, they come here, they laugh, etc. But they don't share, they don't even make a comment. I mean, even making a comment is like as if you're making donation. If this channel is a Muslim channel, I assure you, I will have 3 million subscribers. That is the truth. A guy, he is making video for reaction of a He is not a debater, he is not etc. And he have hundreds of thousands of subscribers from the Muslims. If a Christian prince is a Muslim, he will have millions of subscribers. Now we have to add that YouTube is to keep deleting our channel, this is true. But we should be always able to recover very fast if people are supporting. Let's say I lose the channel today, and I make a new one tomorrow. If a Christian really are supporting people, they can subscribe again. And they will make it grow so big again. So each time we reach like 100,000 something, YouTube take down our channel. It's not frustrating for me. For me, I don't really care. You see, I will do my job. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I have a duty to do. And if people don't care for their own children, their own families, because at the end of the day, one day your son, he go to school, your daughter, she will meet a Muslim, they will lie to her, they will fool her, and she will come back to you and says, Daddy, I became a Muslim. And now what you will do? He will say, I wish I told her, I wish I shared with her the videos of a Christian prince. So for me, I, you know, I do what I do. There's 10 people here, or there's, what I'm, what I'm getting from how many actually, nothing. But it is not right to see that we are the majority of the population of this earth. And Christians don't support us. Christians are very relaxed people, you know. And they think that their children are safe. But they are not. Everything is lying to you. Even your leaders saying Islam is a wonderful religion. Your children will be deceived. You never see a school saying Islam is bad. You don't even see churches saying that. Even in some churches, they are inviting Muslim sheikhs to teach children how to pray to Allah. Can you believe it? So we are doing what nobody dare to do. And the purpose is, your child one day will not be deceived.
So I don't want you to care for what I do. Care for yourself. You know, one day, uh, <clears throat> a guy and his wife, they contacted me. They said that their daughter uh, met a Muslim, and uh, maybe online, I don't know. And she is thinking to convert to Islam, and you know, like the guy he told her he loved her, etc. Uh, I said, but you guys, don't you guys watch my videos always? They said sometime. I said, you never share my videos with your daughters? They said never. Mm. And then they convinced her to talk to me. I mean, they begged her. She didn't want to even listen. Because now it's too late. It's now it's too late. So they begged her to speak to me. Just give him a chance to, you know, just talk to him. So I spoke to her, you know. Uh, many times because she kept coming to me with the question which was a good you know good thing like I was able to break the ice and make her listen because in the beginning she don't want to listen that girl she is in love what you can say you know she is young and the Abdul convinced her and obviously he want to come to America to have a green card and citizenship he live in Egypt so uh, first time it was a little bit difficult second time she start asking question and she asked him a question and then he, ref he answer and then she come back to me. Then first time, second time, third time, fourth time, five time, it took me really a lot of work. And then she told me, uh, the last time I spoke to her, I think we do not need to talk anymore because I now believe Islam is very bad. And I think this guy is not even being truthful. All the answers he gave me, it was a lie. So if he is lying about his answers, he will be lying to me. He's going to be a lying husband to me. Because she noticed that all the thing, all the answer he gave her, I gave her Islamic website, I gave her reference from their website. So I said, "Why he's saying this to you? When this is what it says, read it. This is their website." Then she was convinced that he is a liar, and his her idea. She, maybe she don't care for religion, by the way, but her idea is, well, if he's lying about the answers about his religion, well, obviously he's a liar in the future too. He's a lying husband. So she left him. Uh, so don't wait for that to happen to your son or your daughter. I remember once too, uh, a person who says to me, he know me in person, he said to me, why, why you waste your time with this? Why? I mean, the headache and you know, why? And then two years after, he came to my place urgently. You know, usually I don't have a phone. Sometimes I... I have like a prepaid phone when I travel around. Uh, so he come to my place and he left a note for me. I wasn't there. Uh, he left a note for me in the door. It says, please call me to this number. I do not know your number. It's very urgent. I need your help immediately, please. It's a matter of life and death. What the heck is that? So I, you know, I uh, contacted him and he told me that my nephew, he is dating a girl. She is a Muslim and they are now living together. He's sleeping with her. And she told him, uh, if you really love me, you have to marry me. And if you need to, you want, if you want to marry me, you have to convert to Islam. If you want to marry me, you have to convert to Islam. So this is his nephew. He said, just talk to him. Do anything. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So do you remember how many times you made fun of what I do? This is a headache. This is dangerous. Uh, what you get from this, you know, why you are bitting your 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 life at the, at the line for what? You remember? He said I was a fool. Please now, don't make a mockery of me. Help me. I went. I met him. This guy, his this boy, is a is a college student, a university student, and his Muslim girlfriend, and she have two Muslim guys with her too. After maybe twenty minute conversation. Everything changed. This girl, she got so upset from him. She said, "You have to him." She said to him, "You have to choose either talking to me or talking to him, which means me." <laughs> which one you believe? Which one you trust? Which one is more honest to you? And then this this uh, this kid, he said to her, "But you could not answer anything he said to you. What does this have to do with trust?" 
he was sitting with you on the table, and none of you who gave me headache about how amazing Islam is was able to answer any of things he said. And he was showing you in your own phone the reference, the details, etc. And I was expecting you to refute him easy. But oh, three of you, you were sitting there and you were mute. Do you want us to schedule again so he can meet you again? She said, no, never. And then he left her. So why you wait for your child to be in trouble and then you seek a doctor? Why you don't give him the medicine before he gets sick? And the best medicine is the one who prevents the disease, not the one who fights disease. Prevent. So share the videos, teach your children what you learn. If the video contains something that is not good for the age of them, you know, share with them as you can from your own way, without the video, from what you learn. Share with them in an early age so they will not be fooled. And when they go in the street and they see Abdul giving brochures, etc., they will not be deceived. All right? I do my part. Do you do your part? I will go one day to my Lord. Yes, I am a sinner and I commit sin and I'm no better than any one of you. But I can say I will, day, I will go one day to my Lord and I don't think he will ask me how many hours you spend defending the faith. I don't think this is a question I will be asked for. That is the last question I will be asked for. But what if the Lord, he asks you the same question? What you were doing? So I want to say thank you for being here. Please download the video, share it with your friends, and let us do our part and our share so we can save our community, our society, and even we save the Muslims. Because we don't hate the Muslims. We are against lies and liars, and that is Satan. For the Lord, he says, who is the father of all lies? That was Satan, the father of all lies. So all kind of deception in this earth is deception coming from Satan. And a human being sometimes, they choose to be the servants of the devil. So you have to choose which one you serve and where you go. Uh, you know, like where you go, this is a good question about where we belong, you know, like, if you go in your garden, you will find the garbage can next to your house, and you will find the flowers in the yard. And then you will find that the flies, they go to the garbage, and the bees and butterfly, they go to the flowers. Where do you want to go? So in this life, either you choose to be the flea or the fly, or you choose to be the bees. Useful, not only taken. You take and you give. The bees, they go, they take, and they give honey. They do pollination for the fruits. Very useful insect. Flies are harmful. They take from garbage, but they give you disease. Unless you are a person who believes that the prophet said that when a fly fell down in your soup, then dip it, dip it, dip it, and then swallow it, or swallow the, 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 the soup. So... You know, people, they have to make choices. Uh, and the choices, the best choices a person he can do, I believe, is education. That's why the Bible says, my people destroyed because of their ignorance. <clears throat> have uh, a question. Is Samson mentioned in the Quran? And then, uh, nowhere, no, there's, there, there's no such a thing. No such a thing. And actually, all the names in the Quran, they don't fit even with the Bible. As an example, when Muslim, they say to you, uh, I mean, there's a few names they fit with the Bible, but as you remember, like even Isa, who is Isa? We do not know is Isa. Even Ibrahim, there's no such Ibrahim. Actually, in, in one copy of the Quran, it says Abraham, Abraham. But now all the copies they have Ibrahim, you know. Uh, so most of the names in the Quran are wrong, and they are not biblical. Uh, I think we have enough for today. I don't know if there is any other question we can answer before we go, but I think it's enough for now. And I hope we have a good time together. Please tell your friends, always remember, 
if you don't find my channel no more you can always go to patreon.com and maybe you can ask even those who they are for sure attending my channel like you go to uh, subscribe to uh, Sheikh Omad you know for sure he knew where I am you know these channels for sure they are in contact with me uh, you can ask them uh, very easy I mean we have the link in, in every almost every single video in front of your eyes and then people they say to me where to find you and remember in Patreon you don't even need to sign to see my videos you can just type the link and you will find the video click at the video you will be there very simple you do not need to make a username uh, the reason I do that because Patreon is for those who want to support in donation supposedly right but I don't do my service because people they make donation this is why it's free for everybody the one who make donation and the one who don't even sign in he can view it as you know some people in, in Patreon they make the video locked you have to donate in order to see it me I will never do so because you donate or not still you are welcome to see my videos I'm not doing business you don't donate you donate for me both they will be able to see the video and the reason for that is very simple if we really care for mankind to save them from evil rich or poor then we should give people equal opportunity what people in the world today they do they give service only for the rich so the rich will have knowledge and the poor will die without knowledge the same as they die without medicine the same as they die without education the same they die without school the same they die without food so if we follow the trend of this world today i will be lucky in my videos and only rich people will see it the one who give money he can see it that is not me so i will never lock my videos i will never give a privilege even though i appreciate those who do support what we do and for sure is we appreciate them but they themselves i believe they believe in the same idea and that's why they support me so i can keep my giving my books for free giving my videos for free what the bible says for free you took for free you give as long we can give for free we will give for free and as long the lord he provide us why we will not and this is why some people they say to me well you know don't uh, shouldn't you if you want to increase the support of people you need to lock your videos so people they will be excited to see what is behind the curtain you know you have uh, to give them a motivation so like only a privilege i said i will never do that never not me over my dead body thank you all for being here May the Lord bless you, and we will see you again. Christ is Lord, Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every day. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 